We just arrived to the Parliament House and we're going in. And uh, there's no line to go in, that's very good. And we're very excited. But we lost Buggy out, unfortunately. <laughs> He's already in there. Yeah, so we're gonna see what happens. Uh, we'll update you soon. So when we arrived to the House of Lords, there was this great exhibition from um, WWF. And uh, they, um, they wanted to raise um, awareness about pollution in rivers and uh, over uh, extraction, abstraction of water. We heard about lots about diffuse, diffuse pollution, which we were studying yesterday in our seminar, and, and farmers management and uh, landscape. And everything that we studied yesterday was actually the target of their uh, exhibition and their awareness campaign. And it was interesting because they were trying to uh, make the MPs aware of the situation, how 80% of the rivers are failing and the sewage being uh, uh, like uh, overflown into the rivers and that being legal in England and how that is causing a lot of problems and uh, how they need to regularize and have a proper system and press for EU regulations to be implemented. And so they were basically advocating and they were engaging in a sort of a way that uh, the MPs would uh, realize the importance of environmental protection and the protection of rivers. So it was really interesting and it was a great display. And uh, yeah, it was like a very interactive it. and uh, like a, there was a part like it was made by children. And it was very beautiful and we couldn't take pictures because it's an airport, we're not allowed to do it in there. But believe, believe us, it was very, very, very beautiful. And we think that what we learned yesterday, like it's like hot topic now. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. feel like we know so much about it. It put everything in that we learned yesterday with Stephen into context, and it was really great to uh, see that actually, like that how practically it happens, and to see the practical effect of what we were talking about. We're out now, and we went to two House and Lords Select Committees, both on the topic of Brexit. It seems like everything is on the topic of Brexit. The mm -hmm. first one was about um, finance uh, corporations and trade, and, and trade like how to trade. negotiate a trade deal uh, post Brexit and uh, how to sort of come into the trans. Uh, they were trying to talk about the transition stage and what do they define as a transition stage and the confusing uh, confusion regarding the transition period, uh, what to be calculated as a transition and when the two year period would begin. And the trade uh, was, the trade discussion was very interesting, and then we went to an uh, energy uh, subcommittee. On yeah, yeah, and it was super interesting. <laughs> and it was uh, there was this um, presentation from the Swiss ambassador about the energy market in Switzerland and why is it so good and so convenient for them to like be in this selected point. And uh, well, uh, the. The Lords made a, a lot of questions about uh, how can they compare this situation with uh, UK situation after Brexit, and basically the prognosis was not very good. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, like she said, uh, like Montserrat said, uh, the, the House of Lords were trying to get an advice from the uh, Swiss ambassador on the final uh, discussion was that uh, they wanted some advice for Britain on how they can negotiate and. Uh, what would be their strong point in energy uh, negotiations and what the advice they got was to find a strong, special, unique uh, selling point uh, which doesn't seem to be very positive for UK <laughs> and uh, the other aspect that uh, mainly popped in, uh, in the, during the uh, negotiation and the discussion was uh, they wanted to know whether there would be any possibility to implement or influence any uh, EU regulations on energy and uh, whether that would be possible for UK post Brexit, and whether Switzerland has any uh, nego any influence in the energy regulations in EU, and they want to know how they regulate and how they influence the policies, and for that also the uh, answer was the negative. They don't have any or little like very li little uh, negotiative or influencing power in the EU energy regulations. Yeah, do you want to add on I just think that it's really an eye-opening experience in general to be seeing um, how people come together and try and discuss very important matters. Um, even though the over, overall theme today about um, it's all about Brexit and its uncertainties and it doesn't seem very promising, it's just a really good experience to be able to see what's happening and how people are trying to tackle these problems. Yeah, I agree. Yeah.
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.